painting the town binary, unmasking the troubles of AI art for artists. AI art has been hailed as the next generation of art. A fusion of human creativity and artificial intelligence, it pushes the boundaries of what we consider to be art and who we consider to be artists, by allowing anyone to create hyper-realistic images at the touch of a button. This innovative, this innovative technology began in 1973, when Harold Cohen released Aeron, a rule-based neural network that could create black and white art drawings. Cohen and Aaron first demonstrated the potential of AI in creating art. Fast forward to the 21st century in 2014 with the release of GANS, the bedrock of, gen of modern generative AI technology. GANS, or Generative Adversarial Networks, allow AI to generate sophisticated artworks com compared, to AI <coughs> compared to Aaron's basic black and white drawings. The latter half of the 2010s were filled with many pioneering platforms that promoted the viability of AI art. In 2016, the Rebrand project, backed by Microsoft, managed to create a new rebrand painting, showing that AI art could be used to mimic an artist's style. Two years later, Obvious, a French artist collective, sold an AI-generated piece called Portrait of Edmond de Bellamy for more than $300,000, $432,000 to be exact. This still highlighted the, equi the increasing acceptance of AI art in the traditional art world. Then, OpenAI broke the camel's back with the release of DALI, the first text-to-image GAN-based GAN AI art generator that allowed anyone to create AI art with the right mix of words. Since then, AI art has blossomed with many new generators being released, such as Midjourney, NVIDIA, and Artblocks. However, many artists find that AI art fits directly on their work and their livelihoods because it lacks creativity. It can only regurgitate art styles made by it can only regurgitate art and art styles made by true artists. This page is just one example of it, taken from ArtStation, a platform that brings artists from all industries from all industries together to share portfolios and ideas. It shows how artists can come it shows how artists came together to ban and boycott the use of AI art. But why do artists dislike AI art? To understand this, we need to look at how AI art is first is created. The first step in developing an AI art generator is to gather a data set of existing artworks to train it. Next, the machine learning algorithm, which will eventually turn into the AI ads generator, is trained on these images to learn and recognize the patterns that are found in artworks, art styles, and the features that are normally found in artworks. It's trained from the data set it collected. And after this training, the machine learning algorithm can generate its own ads. There are many ways in which it can do this. Firstly, it can do style transfer, where it will apply one artist's art style directly onto a new work. For example, if I have a picture of cup mixture and I want to turn it into a Victorian painting, I'll use a style, I'll use a style transfer AI art generator. It can also use rule-based generation where to create art based on artistic principles and the most popular type of AI art generation model which, which is the generative model can allow machine learning algorithms to generate new images based on learned models from the data set so, the problem with AI art comes from its data collection method it uses web scraping 
to collect this data. Web scraping is basically when you use a bot or a specialized software to go through online web pages and collect and mine all the data and HTML files associated with our web page and turning it into the various file types you see there like CSV files, JSON files, HTML files. So when it does this, it will take artist image from online and use it to train the machine learning algorithms without the artist's consent. So, why is this bad for artists? As stated earlier, because of the web scraping used by the AI generators, they steal artists' work without their consent. This is especially true for copyrighted works, as it means theft of their intellectual property. Secondly, since AI can directly copy art styles, artists also have to do with plagiarism and lots of their, identi their art styles, their identities as artists. There have been many cases of artists who discovered AI work online which, is, which was an exact copy of one of their pieces, except a few things were changed, such as maybe a background or in the case of human bodies, maybe a face or a hair color. And lastly, it is difficult for artists to get recognized for their, for their work because it's difficult to attribute authorship of AI art. When artworks are generated using AI algorithms, it can be challenging to determine the contribution the percentage, the percentage contribution, which percentage came from human beings and which percentage came from the AI itself. So, why does this all matter? Like the flood you can see in the, in the slide here, AI art threatens to wash away any legal protection artists have over their works. Legislation around AI art is new and undefined, so artists are unprotected from copyright and moral rights infringements. In many jurisdictions, copy, copyright law grants the original creator of a work, in this case a human artist, exclusive rights to reproduce, distribute and modify their creative works. However, when, however in the case of AI-generated art, there is no, with no human input, it's difficult to determine the ownership of the work. Some countries may attribute the, the ownership of the work to the AI's creator. Some may attribute it to the AI itself. Some may even claim that the, the artwork is not, cannot be claimed by any party. None of these are advantageous to, to any human artist. Secondly, since AI is a blend of, of art styles, it can be classified as a derivative work. Derivative works are works that take inspiration from an original piece but make uh, enough minor changes that they are distinct and can be classified as their own. Derivative works are protected under their own laws. So that means it will be difficult for artists to, to legally combat AI art if it is distinct enough from their art style. Furthermore, AI art can infringe on artists' moral rights. Moral rights protect an artist's reputation and, and the integrity of their work. These rights generally include an artist's right to be attributed as the author of a work and to, any and to um, have a say against any distortion, modification or mutilation of their work that could harm their reputation. AI art makes it difficult to defend these rights as it, their algorithms can modify and remix artworks so that will be difficult to match it to the original. This means AI artists can create and copyright works that use artists' intellectual property and earn profits using artists' hard work and dedication. Furthermore, because of the ease of access of AI ads, it's um, less time-consuming nature and it's cheap cost, companies are more likely to use AI ads than higher artists and graphic designers. 
This means there will be less jobs for art for human artists, which is very ironic because the AI art generators are trained using art pieces made by human artists. Situations like this have already begun. For example, Jason Allen won the Colorado State Fair, the the Colorado the Colorado State Fair Fine Arts Competition in the digital art category by using Mid Journey an AI art generator on Discord to generate three pieces of AI art and printing them on an art canvas. He won a three hundred dollar prize cash prize because of this, and there was a lot of outreach from all over the art community. Thus, we must band together we must band together as artists, legislators and art platforms to protect artists and their intellectual property. Better copyright laws in the context of AI art should be developed and art platforms must require AI artists to be fully transparent about their work, whether it is human art or AI art and the sources and data sets used to train the data so that artists and graphic designers can control the usage of their work and earn royalties for it. With actions like these taken, hopefully AI art and human art will not be at odds with each other, but can rather grow and develop together. Thank you for your time.